Hello and welcome to another Paramex Discovery 21 video tutorial. My name is Malcolm and this tutorial is about improvements that we've made to the Edit Demand tab. It's part one of two. So we're going to start again with our Sterling model and I've got this in version 20 and I've also got it in version 21. The version 21's got the slightly lighter background there. And the reason to have it in version 20 and 21 is because it's the easiest way to show you the improvements we've made to the Edit Demand tab by identifying the differences between these two models. So we'll go to the Edit Demand tab in version 20. So you may be familiar with this. And one of the first things to notice is that when you move between Edit Network and Edit Demand, it takes a little bit of time to load. And as I drag across, you can see the slight delay as it's loading those numbers. That's something we've improved in version 21. As I click between Edit Demand and Edit Network, the loading of the uh, demand is instantaneous and I can drag the bars across instantaneously. Uh, so there's no delay there. So we've made some performance improvements between the two. That's really the first thing to, uh, to take from this tutorial. The second thing to take is the structure of the matrices and the demand sets. So you can see in version 20 that for each demand set, we've got uh, a number of matrices listed um, at the top and the number of matrices are set in this dialog where you can see uh, the matrices on the left and the vehicle types on the right. Now the matrices and vehicle types are linked together for the whole model so every vehicle type has to be associated with just one matrix and we can see that in the vehicle types dialog where we've got the matrix number in there as well. Okay, now if I look at version 21, we can see the differences. Uh, for each demand set, again we've got matrices, but these are listed in a column. You'll see that the matrices dialog is gone from the Edit Demand tab, as is the, uh, the matrices from the vehicle types. So we've removed both of those to simplify this process. And it basically means you've got complete flexibility of how many matrices you want in your demand set and which vehicle types you assign to those matrices. So here I can just add a few more matrices for the first demand set in the AM and it's not going to affect my other demand sets. Then in the Vehicle Type Proportions tab I can see that I have the number of matrices along the top, the vehicle types down the left and I simply uh, type in the proportion in those cells. We can see that it's different for the Interpeak and PM so there's no problem having a different number of matrices for a different demand set. If I go back to 20 and just remind ourselves what's in that version, you can see that we've got the matrix, matrix numbers at the top in the vehicle type proportions, and there's a graph and a table uh, for those. It's not a very easy way to, to view this data, and it also doesn't give us the flexibility between demand sets that we now have in version 21. We're going to look at more improvements to edit demands in the next video tutorial. And all this will be in Paramix Discovery 21, coming in November 2018. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.